Hey, y'all, it's Scotty McCreary, 2012 graduate of Garner High School. I'll tell you what, some of my favorite memories of my life were cheering on our football team uh, in the Blue Crew all the way to the state championship. So, y'all have a good time watching Friday Night Lights. With the dawning of autumn, teams across the Tar Heel State are prepared to celebrate memories of seasons gone by. Tonight in Southern Wake County, a pair of neighbors are ready to reacquaint themselves in a key conference clash. Tonight, the Thursday Night Football Game of the Week celebrates homecoming in Garner as the Trojans host the Clayton Commons. And welcome to South Garner High School. I'm Chris Edwards alongside Jason Halter. Delighted to have you with us. Jay, we'll start with Clayton for the Comets off to their best start in more than a decade thanks to an offense that can score points in a hurry. Coach Hunter Jenks has so much confidence in them because the offensive line can protect up front. He's got weapons on the outside, but also excellent quarterback play. Their whole offense has really been clicking, but they've got a great balance as well. How about their great wide receivers? One of them is Devin Carter. Jay, he's already doubled his output from last year. 57 catches this year, 15 scores, and he's just a junior. Still, still so much opportunity to improve, but he's improved so much in his career so far. His output has been outstanding. The number one option on the outside. He's got really good moves off the line of scrimmage a big catching radius and a lot of speed to burn. All right, now for Garner, the Trojans have been dominant for more than three decades. And another year, more dominance from Garner. They run the ball well, Jay, and they have got a swarming defense. Doesn't it always seem like they're just always right in the thick of things? They've got stud players, and this year's no difference. They lean on that ground attack, that offensive line up front, that defense. They're fast and they're physical. How about Colin Eady, the featured back in the I formation? Jay enters play tonight, 10th all-time in career rushing yards. He's been so reliable for them the past couple of years. He's been their main weapon on offense. He had an injury early this year, but he's back now, and he's clicking and just had an outstanding season so far, has high expectations for the rest of the season. Clayton has not beaten Garner in 31 years. Will that streak end tonight? We'll find out. It's homecoming in the water tower town of Garner, and we'll have kickoff for you next on Time Warner Cable Sports Channel. 